In more local news, families across Jacksonville are searching for transportation options after they learn they are no longer eligible to ride the school bus. Earlier this week, we told you Duval County Public Schools will no longer offer bus transportation to middle and high school students who live less than two miles from their school. That's a half mile further than the previous limit. News for Jack's anchor Ann Maxwell explains why. About 1,100 Duval County Public School students will lose the option to ride the bus to school this year. Some of those students may live in Ocean Way Village, which is located about a mile and a half from Ocean Way Middle School. So if I were to have a child, uh, I would never let them to walk to school in this area. Busing is very important for this area. In May, the Duval County School Board was considering limiting school bus access to all students, including elementary schoolers who live within two miles of their school. That distance is the state standard for funding. And in Duval County Public Schools right now, funding is a problem. We've got to do something. And this is one little piece that we can do now. According to district staff, cutting school bus transportation for all students who live within two miles of their school would have saved between $500,000 and a million dollars, while limiting that change to just middle and high schoolers would save between two hundred fifty dollars and $500,000. That compromise is what the board ultimately voted to approve, despite concerns from board members Charlotte Joyce and Lori Hershey about the costs. Board member Kelly Coker said she was worried about safety for some students in her district. Those K-1-2s um, walk into campus in areas where there's police activity and things like that um, for the Arlington community is a struggle for me. Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station. Elementary school students must live at least a mile and a half from school to be bus eligible. That rule is not changing the school year. So if you haven't registered your student for bus transportation for the school year, you're encouraged to do so as soon as possible to avoid any delays in service during the first few weeks.